Hey, it's Tyler from Mountain here. Today we're going to show you uh, the brand new Quaif QBE 46Z a sequential transmission for the Mark III Focus RS. What this transmission is, it's a bolt-in direct replacement for the factory uh, transmission. So what that means, it's a very simple, very clean installation. Uh, bolt straight to the transmission, uses a standard clutch or any aftermarket clutch. Um, but what it does is it converts your Focus RS from an H-pattern a synchronized transmission to a sequentially shifted dog engagement transmission. The other big difference uh, between this Quaif sequential transmission and your standard transmission is uh, the dog engagement. And uh, the, the difference there is your standard transmission is synchronized, it has synchros in it, where this transmission has dogs. And uh, what that means is inside the transmission there's, there's a, a bunch of shafts with a bunch of gears on them. And when you go from one gear to the next, the speeds of the shafts need to be synchronized. Uh, in a standard transmission that's done through friction and the speeds are brought into matching um, gradually, where in a dog transmission, um, there's what are called dogs and they just, when they go together, it, it's just a big clunk and the, the speeds are not matching and then they are, you know, it's almost instantaneous. So if I go down to the shifter and we're currently in neutral, um, I'm on the clutch. If I go to first gear uh, right now, so we're not moving, so the, the uh, output shaft of the transmission isn't spinning because our wheels aren't spinning, but our engine's at idle. Uh, when I go to first gear, those shafts are going to need to match speed. And there you go, that, that's the dog engagement. Uh, there, there was a little bit of a clunk. What that means is now the input shaft of the transmission has now brought, been brought down to the speed of the output shaft, which is zero because we're not moving. Um, and that, that's a, that is a major difference. Uh, if you were in your factory transmission and you put it in first gear, you wouldn't hear any audible clunk. It would be very smooth. But yeah, this is kind of a racing feature made for racing. One of the benefits of this dog engagement is uh, very quick upshifts and downshifts. So if you're on the racetrack and you're going from first gear to second gear to third gear, usually with the standard transmission, you're gonna have to step on the clutch, select the gear, release the clutch, get back on the gas. Uh, with this sequentially shifted transmission, uh, you can actually do clutchless upshifts. What that requires is just a momentary reduction in torque. We do that via a shift cut unit made by Geartronics, and what it does is it momentarily cuts the power to the ignition coils. So when I'm driving and I'm trying to go fast, uh, I'm revving it out in a gear and I need to select the next, all I need to do is keep my foot on the, on the accelerator pedal, don't touch the clutch, just yank on this lever and it's gonna go into the next gear. Um, it's, it's all seamless, automatic, and it's, it's the fastest way to get through the gears. Uh, similarly, in a downshift, uh, again, if you were uh, decelerating, you needed to go down to the next gear. Usually you would step on the clutch, select the next gear, release the clutch, and get back on the gas. Where this, uh, you can do something called a blip, which is a, a, a little bit of a throttle application during the downshift. And again, you can downshift this transmission without touching the clutch pedal. So a few of the frequently asked questions we get is, uh, do I need an aftermarket ECU to, to use this transmission? And the answer is no. Uh, this transmission will bolt in uh, to the vehicle just like a factory transmission. It uses a standard style clutch and you can drive it on the factory ECU. To get all of the benefits out of the transmission, however, you will want to have either an aftermarket ECU or some kind of shift cut device to allow you to do the clutchless upshifts and downshifts. This car is currently equipped with a, with a standard ECU, and I'll demonstrate in a little bit um, how you can do a clutchless upshift um, by way of the uh, gear cut controller we have here uh, installed. Okay, so if we were um, you know, trying to drive the sequential transmission, uh, we wanted to take off from a stop. Uh, we're sitting here, engine's idling, we're in neutral. You can tell by the gear shift indicator showing an N. Uh, what I would do is I'd step on the clutch all the way down, pull the lever towards me one time, and there you can see we're in first gear. Uh, I'm still on the clutch. If I want to start moving forward, what I'll do is I'll give it a little gas, just like normal, let the clutch out, and there you go. Now we're rolling down the road in first gear. To shift to second, step on the clutch, pull it towards me, release the clutch, now we're in a second gear. And then again, same thing for third. So you can see the main difference between this transmission and your standard H pattern in your Focus RS is just really the movement of your arm going from gear to gear. But as far as uh, actuating the clutch, uh, on and off the clutch, uh, nothing there has changed. Uh, that's all just standard movements. The big advantage of this transmission is out on the racetrack. So now, if we want to accelerate as quickly as possible, 
Um, once I'm in first gear and rolling, I can upshift through the gears without ever touching the clutch pedal with the accelerator all the way on the floor. So I can demo that right here. So if we roll away in first gear, I want to go ahead and accelerate. Without ever touching the clutch pedal, without ever lifting my foot off the accelerator pedal.